I'm gonna do the uh, barn uh, bookcase tag. Seems like a nice tag. I was tagged by Roz at Scala Gambling about the books. And the first prompt is uh, Old Fashioned. You know that drink? The Old Fashioned. Historical Fiction, what is your recommendation? You know somebody we don't talk a lot about? Is uh, Caleb Carr, that American writer who did The Alienist. Let me put him up right here. That was a great book. And the sequel, too. I don't know why I'm thinking about that lately, but um, I think they did a movie. It's probably a few years old by now. I'm the last one to know anything. But um, I love that book. Prompt two, Sidecar, book with a strong supporting character. Now I, I uh, recommend James Lee Burke all the time here on this channel, especially the Rubber Show novels. And he's got a, a sidekick named Cle Cletus Purcell. And they go back to the uh, NOLA Police Department and uh, all their adventures and hijinks. That's my pick for uh, prompt two. Prompt three. Manhattan. Book set in New York City. I'm going to pick another uh, crime writer, mystery writer, Lawrence Block. His, uh, his uh, series of Matthew Scudder books. I've learned so much about New York City from them. I met him at, in Scottsdale at the Place of Pen bookstore signing. I need to be, I need to read more uh, Lawrence Block. He's a great writer. Number four, Bloody Mary. Now we're getting into something I really can sink my teeth into. A book that scared you, messed you up. Now, I was going to say, Chloe Reese, The Spectres, the Passion of G.H., which he uh, eats a cockroach, or, you know, tastes it, has an epiphany. Or that one, or either transcript. This one really messed me up. Uh, I did a review on it if you want to, if you care to uh, read it or listen to it. Okay, the select one. Moving on to prompt six, Espresso Martini, a book that kept you reading long into the night. And this is a book I like to recommend over and over. I'd like to reread this, some, maybe this year on my channel. That book is Shadaram. Maybe it doesn't get talked a lot on uh, BookTube, but I read that in its sequel too. Great book, I love it. Prompt 7, Isaiah a book that left you disoriented. Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five. Now the boys at uh, Codex Cantina, and I think uh, uh, Christy uh, Luis uh, at uh, Just Glacier in Space, and then we're doing that. But that's a book that left me really disoriented. Eight, Long Island Ice Tea, a book that a book that went on too much, um, something like that. I'm gonna go with Midworld, a recent uh, sci-fi book, but it only went on too much in a good way, because this thin book is packed with information, and it was a tripped up book. And I would reread this book and I recommend this book. But it did kind of go on sometimes. The Garotto. A book with a love triangle. Oh, I'm going to have to go with uh, one of the love triangles in here, one of the weirdest ones Jasmine and Against the Day by Thomas Pinchon. 
Tommy, uh, Tommy all eight books and I are reading this this month and maybe next month too and uh, until we get done with it but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Jasmine's. Ten. Bay Breeze, a book with a chill, light-hearted vibe. Uh, gee, I couldn't really come up with any. Uh, I have to get back to that. Uh, James Patterson album. Okay, sorry. Uh, 11, Dark and Stormy. A dark, thrilling, uh, like mystery. Ooh, dark, thrilling. Drew, I'm going to recommend this for uh, Christmas. This and uh, Nosferatu. But Dan Simmons is Drood, if you like Charles Dickens, or uh, that type of, uh, is before noir, but that dark, steamy type of mystery, great book. Twelve, Martini, Martini, name a classic. Woo, Paradise Lost. Wasn't this a great book, you guys? Buddy read this with like four people, four women in fact, and we had a great time with this, and it's so accessible. It's like, duh, it's written in English, but it's so accessible, and that is my favorite classic of the year, ready to read that too. And with that, I'd like to thank my new shirt, and I'd like to uh, thank Roz for taking me again, and I have to take some people. So I'll tag uh, Joshua Workman Reads, Ramsey at Rajathon, Tom at Tom L.A. Books. I'll tag Linda, Linda Book Lady, tag Sonia, Enthusiastic Reader. I'll tag Dane, Dane Cobain, Dane Reads. And uh, last but not least, okay, Todd the Librarian. Talk to you later. Tom.